This video covers the basics of Polkadot and Kusama account addresses and how they exist on chain. Have you ever wondered why Polkadot addresses always start with a 1 and Kusama addresses with capital C, D, F, G and so on? It's just not coincidence, but rather by design. The address format used by Polkadot and Kusama, which are substrate based chains, is based on SS58 encoding which is based on base 58 check format used in Bitcoin. SS58 format contains an address type prefix that can serve as an identifier for a specific network. A generic substrate address starts with 5. If you're interested to learn more about why we use base 58 encoding instead of base 64, which is used in programming languages like C and Python, you can take a deep dive into the links posted in the video description. One of the main reasons is to make sure that the addresses correspond to a readable alphanumeric string, uh, which does not contain ambiguous characters like 0 and O, I and lowercase l. Perfect. Um, Polkadot is designed to facilitate seamless interoperability between blockchains. Obviously, one of the key expectations would be to make an account on Polkadot ecosystem portable not only across different wallets, but across different networks. It's important to understand that the different formats of different networks are merely different representations of the same public key in the private public key pair. To understand the statement accurately, let's take a look at the processes of address generation, derivation, and portability. A valid account on substrate-based chains requires a private key that can sign on one of these supported signature schemes. Let's start with what most of the wallets do when we're trying to create a new account. Generate a mnemonic phrase. This comes with a disclaimer, right? Keep this seed phrase secret. If anybody has access to your seed phrase, uh, they may get full access to your account on the network. You will see why in a bit. Different wallets use different algorithms to convert from mnemonic phrase to a private key. A typical mnemonic phrase generated on subkey tool is displayed there and its corresponding private public key pair looks like that. You can generate an address for Polkadot network using the same mnemonic phrase. Observe the private key, it has not changed. Similarly, uh, we can generate it for Kusama, uh, the address changes, but the private key remains the same. The best feature about these addresses is that if you know public key on one network, you can obtain its corresponding public key or public address on any substrate-based network. Now, let's talk about another feature. What if you want to create multiple accounts on a network or across multiple networks in the Polkadot ecosystem? By multiple accounts, I mean multiple private public key pairs. It quickly becomes quite tedious to keep track of multiple mnemonic phrases. Uh, but what if I told you that we can derive new accounts from a single mnemonic phrase? That would be pretty convenient, right? Uh, you just have to remember a C phrase and the derivation path to access the respective accounts. You can derive new accounts by appending strings at the end of mnemonic phrase by separating them using slash or a double slash. A single slash corresponds to soft derivation and a double slash corresponds to hard derivation. If you use soft derivation to create new accounts, any third party can verify that all of your accounts are owned by a single entity. There may be use cases for that. You may want to tell the public that all of these accounts belong to you. From security perspective, you need to be aware that when a third party gets access to the private key of one of the soft derived accounts, they can get access to your root accounts private key as well something to be aware of. On the other hand, hard derived accounts leave no trace of derivation. Okay. Uh, in any case, you need to remember the derivation paths like passwords 
to access your derived accounts. Also, some wallets may automatically add derivation paths to the end of the generated mnemonic phrase. Uh, you should be aware of that as well. That brings us to the next topic, uh, which is portability. The ability to use a mnemonic phrase across multiple wallets. That depends on these factors. Like I mentioned, derivation path, mnemonic format, seed derivation, and signature scheme. If you are a wallet developer in Polkadot ecosystem, you would like to get existing users on your wallet, right? So you need to take all of these parameters into consideration. Here are some openly accessible ways to create and manage accounts, which I'll be showing to you in a different video. Uh, hope this video gave you a good introduction about uh, how accounts are, are generated and managed on Polkadot ecosystem. Thank you.